for destruction if it is used to destroy. So I think one of the things people have been mourned is the burning of the excavators, for yes, example. Yes. I mean, something these uh, machines could, could be confiscated and used for more beneficial purposes or projects. Uh, some even refer to the 2006 Minerals and Mining Act where special provisions are made on how uh, what we call tainted property, uh, that's property used to commit a crime, may be seized and then confiscated to the state by court orders and all of that. Making the president's order to you know burn on site... Uh, is somewhat a breach of the law. It is not. The The law frowns on um, the misuse of machinery uh, in, in, in this regard. Mm. The law frowns on. And so you support the burning of the excavators? I support any action that will halt the onslaught on our environmental uh, landscape. Any action that that is premised to halt the, the onslaught mm. because we cannot sit uh, and aloof and then look on while a few section of, of our kinsmen, uh, I mean kinsmen, will, will, will take the law into their hands and uh, out of greed, out of uh, non-respect for rules and regulations will plunder all of us into an abysmal doldrums of uh, despons- despondency, in, indeed a quagma that we find ourselves. So it, it calls for an extra effort, as I said. Okay. And burning the excavators should be re- uh, um, what? It should be a warning itself. I mean, it should, it, it should, it should, it should serve as 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 a deterrent. A great deal of deterrent for those who who are in it. We okay. are in it and well, we want to continue. When when I sh- 